Have you ever found yourself stuck in a loop of endless thoughts about an event or a decision? That's overthinking. It's like a hamster wheel in your mind, spinning endlessly without reaching a destination. Overthinking is more than just a time waster. It can impact our mental well-being, causing stress, anxiety, and even decision paralysis. It's a common phenomenon that can lead us down a rabbit hole of what-ifs and should-haves. Overthinking is a common problem, but understanding it is the first step to overcoming it. Overthinking doesn't just keep you up at night. It can also have serious implications on your mental health. Imagine your mind as a garden. The more you overthink, the more weeds you unintentionally plant, stifling the growth of beautiful flowers. These weeds can manifest as anxiety, stress and decision paralysis. When we overthink, we often dwell on the negative, creating a loop of worry and fear that's hard to escape from. This can lead to a heightened state of anxiety where everyday tasks seem daunting. It can also result in stress as we constantly feel overwhelmed by our thoughts. And then there's decision paralysis. This happens when we overanalyze every option to the point where we feel unable to make a choice. The effects of overthinking can be detrimental, making it crucial to find effective solutions. It's not about completely stopping our thoughts, but rather learning how to manage them in a healthier way. Why do we overthink? The answer lies in our psychology. Overthinking often stems from a sense of fear, uncertainty, and a relentless pursuit of perfection. Fear is a powerful motivator that can lead us to overanalyze situations, fearing the potential negative outcomes. Uncertainty, too, feeds into this cycle. When we're unsure about a decision or a situation, we may feel compelled to think it over again and again, attempting to account for every possible scenario. And then there's perfectionism, the desire to always be flawless, to never make a mistake. This can lead us to dwell excessively on our actions, worrying that they might not be perfect. It's like standing at the edge of a pool, overthinking whether to jump in or not, while everyone else is already swimming. Understanding why we overthink can help us develop strategies to combat it. One of the most effective ways to combat overthinking is through mindfulness. Mindfulness, in its simplest form, is the act of being fully present in the moment, completely aware of where we are, what we're doing, and not being overly reactive or overwhelmed by what's happening around us. It's about taking a step back, breathing deeply, and focusing on the here and now. Now you might be wondering, how does mindfulness help curb overthinking? Well, it's quite simple. Overthinking often results from dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. By practicing mindfulness, we train our minds to focus on the present moment, thereby reducing the room for overthinking. Consider this. When you're fully immersed in what you're doing, whether it's washing dishes, reading a book, or even just breathing in and out, there's little to no space for those pesky thoughts to creep in and start spiraling. There are countless techniques to practice mindfulness. Some people prefer meditation or yoga, while others might find solace in simple breathing exercises or even mindful eating. The key is to find what works best for you and make it a part of your daily routine. Remember, it's not about pushing away or suppressing thoughts. It's about acknowledging them without judgment and then letting them go. It's about giving your mind a break from the constant chatter and noise. Mindfulness can be a powerful tool in your arsenal against overthinking. With consistent practice, you'll find yourself more in control, less stressed and more able to enjoy the present moment. A practical way to stop overthinking is to break down tasks into manageable steps. This strategy is like climbing a mountain. Instead of being overwhelmed by the daunting peak, focus on the path right ahead of you, one step at a time. Now let's consider a real-life example. Say you're tasked with organizing a big event. Instead of getting lost in the enormity of it all, break it down. Start with the guest list, then move on to the venue, the menu, and so on. Each small victory achieved along the way provides a sense of accomplishment and reduces the room for overthinking. This method is not just effective for big projects, but also for everyday tasks. If you're feeling overwhelmed by your day, break it down hour by hour or even minute by minute. Remember, the goal is progress, not perfection. Breaking down tasks can help us focus and reduce the tendency to overthink. Not all thoughts are true. Learning to challenge irrational thoughts is key to overcoming overthinking. Ever been caught in the grip of a thought that just wouldn't let go? 
Maybe it's a worry about an upcoming event or a regret about a past decision. Often these thoughts are not just persistent, but also irrational. They're based on fear, not fact. So how do we challenge these irrational thoughts? The first step is recognition. We need to identify when our thoughts are spiraling into the territory of the irrational. The next step is to question these thoughts. Ask yourself, is this really true? What evidence do I have? This is the process of cognitive restructuring, and it's a powerful tool in the fight against overthinking. Remember, just because a thought pops into your head doesn't mean it's true or helpful. We have the power to choose which thoughts we engage with and which ones we let go. By challenging irrational thoughts, we can gain control over our overthinking. A positive mindset can be a powerful weapon against overthinking. It's like a ray of sunlight piercing through a cloudy sky, illuminating the path ahead. But how do you cultivate such a mindset? Start by practicing gratitude. Each day, acknowledge three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be grand. The taste of your morning coffee, a warm smile from a stranger, a good book. These tiny moments of joy can help shift your focus from negative to positive. Next, engage in self-affirmation. Speak kindly to yourself. Remind yourself of your strengths and accomplishments. This simple act can help you build resilience against negative thoughts. Also, surround yourself with positivity. This could be positive people, uplifting books or inspiring music, anything that resonates with you and boosts your mood. Remember, cultivating a positive mindset isn't about ignoring the negatives, it's about choosing to focus on the positives, despite the negatives. And with practice, you'll find that cultivating a positive mindset can significantly reduce overthinking. Finding a balance between thinking and doing can help break the cycle of overthinking. It is a dance, really, between reflection, where we ponder and analyze, and action, where we put our thoughts into motion. When we spend too much time in the realm of reflection, we might find ourselves spiraling down the rabbit hole of overthinking. But remember, it's not about completely shunning reflection. Reflection is crucial for learning and growth. It's about striking a healthy balance. Imagine you're on a seesaw. On one end, we have reflection. On the other, action. If we lean too much towards either side, we lose balance. But when we find that sweet spot in the middle, where reflection fuels purposeful action, we achieve equilibrium. This balance can mitigate the stress and anxiety often associated with overthinking. So the next time you find yourself stuck in a loop of excessive thought, ask yourself, am I balancing reflection with action? Balancing reflection with action is a practical step towards overcoming overthinking. Overcoming overthinking is a journey, not a destination. To recap, we've explored what overthinking is and how it affects us. We've delved into the psychology behind it, and we've provided you with tools like mindfulness, breaking down tasks, challenging irrational thoughts, and cultivating positivity. We've also emphasized the importance of balancing reflection with action. This knowledge, these strategies, they're your armor against overthinking. Remember, overcoming overthinking is possible. You have the tools and strategies. Now it's time to put them into action.